Hello everybody and welcome to twitch.tv forward slash Jestertainment. I am your host Jester and welcome back once again to Final Fantasy XIV. Um, this is the first time I've played it a month. Uh, I've been on quite a bit actually. But never mind. How's it going? Good to come back to. Um, it's like putting on a nice club. That you... I've this metaphor about Warcraft. Just... Hello Lily, how are you? Should probably put the microphone in front of my mouse so everyone can actually hear me. Um, so yeah, what are we doing? I am trying to get the story done of Shadowbringers. Um, if you don't know, there are four different versions, uh, four different expansions in the game. Four? Three. Three. Heaven's Ward, or Heaven's Sword as I kept calling it, Stormblood, and now Shadowbringers. So, just so I know what's going on and you guys know what's going on, I have a video. I have videos for you to watch. Um, so, let me just... Drop game capture a hot second. Here we go. Because I need to catch up as well. It's been a minute. I can say audio is off a bit. Yeah, that's me. That's me. So let's, let's go with this one. Final Fantasy XIV lore in a minute. I'm very excited to see if this makes sense to me. The realm of Eorzea was once inhabited by 12 benevolent gods, plus some grumpy gods called primals, but for the most part everything was great. Of course, that would be a pretty dull video game, so eventually tribes of mortals moved in, the 12 took off, and Eorzea began experiencing cycles of prosperity and hardship called the Astral and Umbral Eras. Mm -hmm. The third Astral Era saw the rise of the Alagon Empire, which then crumbled during the fourth Umbral Era, probably because they tried to imprison a dragon inside the moon. To cope with the waves of That's calamity, fine. the people formed the grand companies to maintain order across Eorzea's nations. This worked out okay for a while. Fast forward to the sixth Astral Era as the distant Garlean Empire begins subjugating its neighbors in typical evil empire fashion. Hearing whispers yep. of bloodthirsty primals and feeling very uncomfortable about that, <laughs> the Empire picks Eorzea as its next target. Imperial General Nail Van Darnus decides the best way to do this is to crash the moon into it. In the nick mm -hmm. of time, the Grand okay. Companies re-emerge and defeat Van Darnus with the help of adventurers known as the Warriors of Light. But the moon eventually reaches Eorzea and out pops that pesky dragon who is by now like super angry and decides to just nuke the entire landscape. As a last ditch effort, the mage Louis Soir teleports the warriors and their allies across time and space to safety. Years later, <laughs> you, a warrior of light, regain consciousness at the beginning of the seventh Umbral Era. Despite some mild amnesia, you must now reunite with your allies and continue to defend Eorzea from the Empire, okay. the Primals, and, oh no, generic Square Enix pop-up villain. Have fun. Asians Or Asbuts. Okay, I can't remember anything that happens in between that and uh, the next one, so let's see. Let's just keep going. Like I said, I get a big a feeling. Locked in a thousand I'm going to keep uh, having to explain army, what's going on in this game. With the faith to take and then get it wrong, and then Lily will correct me. In service to a long dead king. It's Margaret here with a new installment of Lord Junkies looking at the environment surrounding the focal city state mm -hmm. of Ishgard mm -hmm. in Final Fantasy XIV Heaven's Oh, uh, only 1.9. Yeah, apparently. is the last free Eorzean city state separated from the Eorzean Alliance, and players are thrust into the center of the Dragon Song War. Nidhogg's mm -hmm. eye was recognized as an artifact of great power mm -hmm. and became one of the central pieces of Ishgardian doctrine and power. The nation forged itself into a military theocracy, with the Archbishop at the head of the Holy See of Ishgard acting hey, as what? a religious and political leader to the nation while waging war against the dragons that slew King Thordon. Beneath the Archbishop are the four high houses, Helenart, Fortan, Durandier, and Ismail which serve as both military so and economic leaders for the nation. These houses are tasked with fighting on behalf of the Holy See, and the Ishgardians take part in their war with single-minded devotion, seeing all other threats to Ishgard as lesser than the constant battle against the marauding dragons. The dragons, for their Bad part, dragons? have led several great assaults against Ishgard under the direction of Nidhogg. Each spike in aggression has marked by a rising song of dragons, which can be detected by Ishgardian scholars, allowing the city time to fortify its defenses and strike back against She's got a the really horde. great Each voice assault has voice. been repelled by too. the knights of the city, but at a great cost of life. Okay. The dragons are aided by those that Ishgard call heretics. Men and women who departed from the city the joined the armies of, of the dragons. Oh, well. <laughs> How the dragons entice these heretics is a mystery to the Ishgardians. But what is known galaxy. is that some of their numbers are granted the ability to become dragons themselves. Yo. While heretics have always been a concern, they have always been uncoordinated. Barely remember Until the this. recent emergence <laughs> of a leader known as Lady Iceheart. Five years before the start of the game, the calamity that hit Eorzea hit Ishgard as well, <laughs> turning the once lush highlands of Coorthus into an icy nightmare. Many of the fortresses and towns of Ishgard were lost beneath the snow and ice that could not be repelled. Mm -hmm. And as a result, 
the city is weaker than it has ever been. This weakened and beleaguered Ishgard is now faced with another rising song of the dragons, with the hordes stirring to attack once more while the heretics fight with superior coordination. After years of isolation, the nation is opening its gates once again and seeking allies, as its military leaders realize that surviving the upcoming conflict may take more than simple faith in the righteousness of the church. Are you ready to step into the middle of this war and attempt to prevent the nation from falling? And what do you think the true nature of the in the way of fucking dragons. Is? People don't like me. I don't think so. Let us know in the comment so. section below, as right, well, well as what you want to see in upcoming I mean, War Junkie videos. I feel don't like we didn't really, like the... you know, get what we needed from that, but here we are. On the world of Hydaelyn, in the year 1557 of the Sixth Astral Era, the Garlean Empire, led by the Black Wolf, the goddess Gaius von Balthazar, launched an attack on the city-states of Eorzea and Aldernard. With far more advanced weapons than those of their enemies and massive airships, even the most powerful of these city-states, Alamigo, <laughs> fell. Okay. Some 20 years later, the people of Alamigo live under the harsh thumb of the Imperial Viceroy, Zenosie Galvis, the sadistic son of Emperor Varus Zoskalvis. <laughs> the same can be said for the citizens of the once-proud Altered city-state, Now me. under control of the ruthless Garlean Imperial Viceroy Yotsuyu, known to have committed numerous atrocities against her own people. Some time ago, the people of Doma attempted to rebel against the Garleans, but the rebellion was crushed, and soldiers were turned to refugees and forced to flee their country. Under the supervision of Yugiri Mistwalker, the refugees sailed across the sea and sought refuge in Vesper Bay. But there is hope. Having successfully ended a thousand-year <laughs> conflict between Man and Dragon, the Warrior of Light and a group of brave and cunning freedom fighters from Alamigo and Doma alike will attempt to rise up with the people of Eorzea and Arthur to liberate their states, ousting the Garleans permanently. Guys, that's time down energy. He really does. Okay, well that didn't really give us any information. So basically, if you're confused about what's going on for any reason, just tell me. I'll go. I don't know. Ask Lily. That sound good to everybody? Okay, let's go. Uh, hi, Em, by the way. Hope you're well. Hello, Lily. Hello, Gibbo. Hope you're all well. So, yeah, we're starting from um, the start, as, as you, you know, you'd expect to. So you, so you is the best. Oh, I miss Soyu. When she was actually, like, not a bitch. Is that the best way to describe it? Living the dream. Em, speaking of you, um, I did some research earlier into Final Fantasy on the play, no, the PC. Uh, you can get it cheaper than 20 quid from the right places. Just saying. Um, do we want me talking, by the way? Do we want me to, like, read what's going on? I have a great voice, so I'm sure you guys all love it. She's called Tataru, but I always want to get call her Tutaru. Is that bad? Tutaru is itching to share what appears to be good news. It's good news, my lord. I'm not doing voices. Good news, Jester. We've had a stroke of luck in our search for that beacon. There's a beacon there after, if you're wondering. Apparently our colleagues have stumbled across a hidden path leading down into the hollows around the base of the Crystal Tower. I did that at the weekend. I look cool, by the way. A path I doubt we'd ever have found had the ironworks and the suns not added their numbers to the party. Cinematic in this quest. I love cinematics. Thanks to them, we have eager eyes aplenty down there, checking under rocks and peering into every nook and cranny. Still, it sounds like there's a lot of ground to cover. Okay, I didn't really go on too much of a hunt. I actually get paid tomorrow. Hell yeah. Uh, CD Keys has it for cheap, but it's out of stock at the moment, but there are alternate websites. Um, I'll do it for a decent price. Um, then we stand a bit of the hands. Sounds like tedious work. Not as tedious as waiting around, I suppose. I'm not cloud. I'll go with the, you know, the nice response. Oh, forgot to, uh, my thoughts exactly. The sooner we find this beacon, the sooner we can travel to wherever it is this mysterious voice is coming from. And so we can work out how to help our friends. So for context, uh, we are part of the Scion Scions of the Seventh, Seventh Dawn. Is that right, Lily? Um, we all heard mysterious voice. We all got headaches. Um, and everybody is now AFK. <laughs> There's a boat in the North Silver Tier, blah, blah, blah. They're not AFK, they're asleep. Like, they got wet, like put to sleep and nobody knows why or how. Which is like what we're discovering about now. And if I am going to guess... What? Lily, obviously, don't tell me. Um, if I'm going to guess what's going to happen, um, we're going to find, like, a way to wake up each of our friends uh, after every area in the expansion. It's what has happened for, like, the last two, so... I'm just going off, you know, recent examples here. Yeah, like I said, uh, it's the first time I'm properly paying attention to story in this game. <laughs> I paid, I paid a bit of attention, but not a whole lot, if I'm honest. Um, 
And it's the first time for a very long time I'm presenting uh, a story stream. In a way that will hopefully convey the relevant information to everybody. But we'll find out. If you guys enjoy it, I'll maybe do more. If not, I won't bother ever again. Head to the survey site, sir. It's on the eastern shore of the lake, and the swiftest way to get there is by boat. I'd argue the swiftest way is by bird, but okay. Keep accidentally almost spoiling. Lily, I appreciate you holding off. You're a good egg. Egg. Yeah, I'm excited to get back to this. I, I Like I said before, um, I always plan on getting back to this game. I completely... Um, I didn't forget, but I just never had time. I'm really glad I get to go now. I'll meet you where you'll be if you want. Um, I mean, you can do. I'm I'm used to playing alone, but you know, if you want to be involved, I, I you've got nothing better to do. I don't mind. Look how many people there are. Oh, just talking. Thank fucking rest my voice. <laughs> Should we get to it then? Pick up anything that seems the least bit device-like, and we'll make ourselves a pile. Ah, device pile, of course. Well, if it isn't the hero of the hour, maybe you'll change our look. We found bugger all without you. Biggs is Irish? Biggs, wed! Biggs is Irish? <laughs> what the shit? I didn't know that. Or I forgot. Aye, aye. Well, we could hardly say no to a call for aid from the Scions. <laughs> I didn't Jesse know. Jesse call it the chief of some other business. Jesse! So we'll be working twice as hard Poggy. to make not being here. <laughs> Thrice as hard, even. I forgot who's in this game, who's got <laughs> what voice. You, both of you. It's fantastic. Sure I love this. Beacon in no time. Kind of a notice. I've got no crotch. Sorry, I'm looking at my own character's armor. Precious potato. <laughs> Parasentient spuds. I'm not seeing anything out here. Just a lot of Amazon packages. <laughs> Do you reckon you could squeeze in there, Wedge? Wedge yourself in. Stuck halfway? No, thank you. I could try if you like. Oh shit, we're gonna lose her already. <laughs> Taru, no. We uh, didn't ask you to do that. Her name is Tutaru. Oh, be fine. This receptionist is not afraid to get her hands dirty. Man, I wish I wore that in real life. That was badass. <laughs> Can I cosplay my own character when we're allowed out in the world again? Do worry about my nose clipping through the scarf, but that's fine, probably. Sorry, I, I meant to say, the scholars haven't finished their preliminary assessment of the site yet, so we're not supposed to venture too far in. Uh, I'm the warrior of light. I'll go where the fuck I like. <laughs> hmm. What's that you got there? I'll get over the fact he's now Irish. That looks promising. I was like, uh, isn't that the iron word? I was gonna say, symbol? counterfeiters. Context there, part of the Garlean Ironworks, no, I think it's called. No, Garland Ironworks. You are right. right. What's happening? <laughs> me, whenever there's a bit of minor bother. Stay with me. Tag yourself. Focus on my voice. Let expanse contract. Eon become instant. Welcome to Police Vision. This must be it. The device. Oh, this is supposed to happen. Throw wide the gates that we may pass. Dude, just open the gates. Oh, safe journey, warrior of light. Find our friends and bring them home. It fell bright. <laughs> I hope there's a lot more voice acting in uh, the story on this one as well. Not that I don't enjoy talking, but... I like sitting and listening. Uh, and if Quantum Break was, like, a good game, I'd probably really enjoy that. There's a lot of playing the game and then TV shows going on. <laughs> Guten Morgen. I'm here. Hi, Arya. Welcome. How are you? Don't mind me, just a floating cat boy in space. This game makes, lets me do everything I want to do. The dawn's light will shine again. React. No, do not look at me so. Your blade to a tyrant. There's no freedom in that. 
This is one battle you cannot fight. Away with you. Don't say your spirited accounts always come to well continued. We did everything right. Everything that was asked of us, and still, still it came to this. That's the Warrior of Darkness. Not Justin Hawkins, if you're wondering. Although he probably is a Warrior of the Darkness, to be fair. Hello? Shiny Gold Lady? Very bright game today. Oh shit, boys! It's Mithi Mithilia. Has not yet come. Good, you remember post HW. I do. I remember odd bits. Like it's hard. I wouldn't be able to like recite the story, but like if you ask me for the the greatest hits, I could probably run through them if you give me like twenty minutes. And I had uh, I had to message the customer service saying, "Hey, my necklace broke. Okay, we can fund you." I said, "Well, I don't really want to refund on a free pound necklace. Can you send me a new one?" And they just went long sigh. Fine. Wow. Rude. It probably costs them more to post it <laughs> than it does to refund it. I also, Lily, I also remember, um, uh, Yuranji betraying us. Or looking like he was betraying us, and he wasn't really. I still don't like to call him, uh, Yuranji. I like to call him Yuri Anger. Hey, if you don't spend more than £35, you have to pay £6 for shipping. Woof. It probably doesn't cost them £6 to send it, though. Just in general for Shadowbringers. It's called Shadowbringers, and I've got to get ready for light. Ooh, this is pretty. Like it. Oh, fuck, boys. <laughs> I quit. I quit World of Warcraft to get out of Shadowlands, and I'm right back there. <laughs> God damn. You are bringing the shadow. I love bringing shadow. I, that's probably like the name of my metal band, right? Bringing shadow. From endless dreams I awake. It's not my voice. <laughs> Jello. <laughs> Something vague, yet urgent, calls me to action once more. Mate, what a fucking bender we went on last night. I will say, this looks uh, very reminiscent of Crystal Song Forest from World of Warcraft right now. And I get used to those comparisons, because it, it's all I know. I see a chocobo. Pop a chocobo. Chocobo make the pain go away. Hello. I'd eat me all pals. Watching Mr. Shark made him puffier, by the way. It did? Oh, good news. Hello, old man. I'm here to steal your hat. Oh, shit. He's on the weed. Rare to meet someone out here who's not a peddler themselves. What brings you into the wilds this time of night? The fuck we found the Irish? What's going on here? Haven't y'all got border issues? Leave me alone. I did sleep on him last night, so the puff is gone, but you know, it's fine. What do you mean this time of night, but it's as bright as day? Yeah, it is bright as day. Oh, round here, up his day, and he down is up. Cats or dogs? Well, if it ain't the oldest joke in the book. Me granddad, God's rest his soul, used to tell that one to the barman at kicking out time. What? <laughs> Miss Scusi? You're not from round here, are you? Pray tell, did we last have a dark night? You rotten old drunk yet, he'd reply. <laughs> Excuse me, bitch. <laughs> have you seen the the victor? That victor? Have you seen that victor? Over a hundred bleeding years ago. No, I will tell you. <laughs> Murdo doesn't share good content with me, so if he does ever send me anything, I try to ignore it. He hasn't sent me that as far as I, I'm aware, though. You got that look down to a T. I'd almost think you meant it. Still very confused where the Irish have come from all of a sudden. Ah, got to you, did they? Poor beggar. That explains it, then. I got a cowboy hat. How poor do you think I am? Oggy! 
I don't drink. I'm on the job. <laughs> well, I've rode Thank you, Arya. To sell, but you, you'd best hurry along to the town nearby. He hasn't even offered to sell us anything, which has me really concerned. Just head east through the trees and aim for the Shining Tower. You'll find the place soon enough. It is the biggest settlement for Malms around. All right. Go uh, on now, friend. They'll take good care of you in the Crystarium. That sounds vaguely threatening. Why do I need to prepare my butthole? What's going on? Shifts awkwardly. <laughs> please, please don't interrupt my butthole. Dude, that is, uh... Oh, that would have been screenshot levels of, uh... Hell yeah. Oh, there we go. There's the thumbnail, boys. <laughs> oh, there's the thumbnail, boys. To dizzying heights it rises. The gleaming spire. Its tip threatening to pierce the blinding canopy. Is that not... There, it will all begin anew. Between dark and light. The pure... Right where you are. Yeah, right? The one true struggle. M, you remember Wrath of the Lich King. Does it not look like Crystal Song to you? Oh shit, boys. We love a late title screen. Very cinematic. Very hot right now. <laughs> now you mention it, it does, right? Man, I'm going to spend uh, a lot of time taking screenshots in this game today. I love a good screeny. Heavy country accent. I <laughs> Alright, until I read it, I'm not going to fully understand this. So I'm not going to read it. Uh, I'm not going to say it out loud. But I am now in the mood for a McRib. When was the last time there was a McRib in the UK? It's been a while. I think the last time I had one. Do I have to read everybody, all these characters' voices in an Irish accent, by the way? Because the Irish are going to get very upset with me very quickly. Oh, never mind. Bunny lady! Hello? Every face in this city I know. Yours, I do not. She's not Irish. This is the threshold of the Crystarium, stranger, and I am its gatekeeper. If you would enter, you will answer my questions. Riddle's free. What face has arms? No hands. Shit. From where do you hail? The Charlene to say with Austin Dorset punch in the front telecarly so Jesus Christ, Aria. Radania or the source? The South <laughs> Or the South. Or the triple dots, because I'm cloud. No Gradania. I've never heard of it. Do you take me for a fool? No such place exists. What is that accent? Had you given me an honest answer, I would not have barred your way. Wait, you're starting Gridania too? Which class? Uh, class Lancer origin. was my first but class. instead, you chose concealment. And I will not suffer you to pass. And you chose violence! Yeah, weirdly, I decided on Machinist of all classes. As my favourite. Even though I started as a Lancer. Samurai I quite like as well, actually. But... A samurai's like level 50, so a bit out of range right now. Hello. That one had eaten. It must have gulped down the whole hand. Ring and all. Oh no, don't be the traveler. <laughs> oh, it was the traveler! No! <laughs> oh no, the poor fella! He deserved better than that. We literally just left the guy. Everything all right, Captain? Oh. No sock sandals is here. Oh, it's him. A fella. Quite all right, my lord. Just a stray sin eater and a weak one at that. I, I, am I not allowed to assume? I see. Weak or not, we should be on the lookout for more. Uh, the fella sounds like a fella. They. 
but I see you've met my guest. I will escort him to the Crystarium myself. I'll go if with you have no objections. Another of your mysterious friends. It's him. I should have known. <laughs> Lily! Very well. Help I'll me! I'll inform the others your guest is to be given the run of the city. I can love running with the sea. It's the hat and scarf in it. Right, that Very scarf can be pulled up to cover COVID. Welcome. May oh! The rest of your stay with us be okay. A one. It's okay, you can bang me to make up for it, isn't it? Come with me. I will answer whatever questions you have when we assemble <laughs> in private. <laughs> Ooh! I like being taken somewhere more private, if you know what I mean. Wanky face. Sorry, chat. <laughs> He's taking you to the bed. Right then. Before Finally, someone the will. Someone has to. Let me first, thank you for answering my summons. I didn't have a choice. He spent too much time with Murdo. <laughs> I had intended to bring you directly to my See, personal. The difference post. with me and Murdo is, is I'm doing it for a joke, whereas Murdo genuinely means it. You're still it. able to make the crossing unharmed. Isn't <laughs> it? A great relief. And so we come to the question of where. Okay, good. The realm in which you now find yourself belongs to one of the 13 reflections or shards. The first, to be precise, even if its inhabitants are largely oblivious to the fact. As to wherefore, having been oh, no. awarded the rather grandiose title of Crystal Exarch, <laughs> I, in uh, my capacity as caretaker of the Crystarium, thought to seek the aid of you and your companions. They pulled us from our own world to help your world, is, is what I'm meant to understand. You, got, you got your own heroes? Uh, do you have any idea how much trouble you've caused? What are they? Yeah, let's give it that one. I quite like that one. Stop berating the twat. Send me home. An inkling, yes. I can only beg your forgiveness. Matters here forced my hand. But all shall be explained in due course, I promise you. That due course is 400 hours of gameplay. <laughs> Let us begin with the glaring skies up above. <laughs> Go on. Quite bright, yes. Here in the first, the world has been all but consumed by primordial light. Battle playtime, 99 days, 21 hours, 20 minutes, so close. It began a century ago, <laughs> by this realm's reckoning. A luminous flood swallowing everything in its path. Well, I'm starting this More than nine at... nine tenths of this star was lost. 40... 427 hours. And the fortunate few... But let's see how long it takes. ...are hounded by abominations born of that catastrophe even now. Sin Eaters, we call them. The creature you saw earlier was one such monstrosity. It's 2.4! Lily, Jesus! You go into the game after me! It was to save the first from this menace that I learned to bridge the rift between worlds. That I might call upon the aid of the greatest of heroes. How much of that dragon's AFK time, though? Because I do but see you AFK quite a bit. The world of its champion, I had to try. For in saving the first, Not much. you would bring oh, okay. salvation to the source as well. Salvation to the source. I love the source. Oh, this barbecue. But what manner of host harangues his guests in the middle of the road? <laughs> Let us continue our talk within the Crystarium. To be fair, Lily, if I'd have played this instead of World of Warcraft and RuneScape, I probably wouldn't be too far off. I'm going to go with 1.5k. I'm not going to start, like, uh, shitting on Warcraft now I'm back on Final Fantasy. I still want to do a video comparing the two, though. Um, although I believe Jesse Cox is also working on that at the moment, so I'm gonna, it feels like I'm gonna, it feels like I'd be copying him if I, uh, did my own version of it now. Unfamiliar with Jesse Cox, by the way, uh, used to be a massive World of Warcraft streamer, uh, sorry, YouTuber. Um, has played World of Warcraft and now Final Fantasy, and it's, he's planning on doing a whole script and shit like that, and I'm like, <laughs> here's the good points. I should hopefully be able to download and play tomorrow if, I'm, if I actually get paid, we'll see, not holding my breath. I mean, Em, if you want, uh, if you want me to grab it for you, I don't mind. Such a proud and vibrant 
city. Pull out an early birthday present. Yo, is that for it? Hrovka? Soul Sanctuary the living in a world all but resigned to oblivion. They actually exist in the real world. Each stone was laid with hope. The town itself a symbol. A monument to defiance in the face of death. I'll be here tomorrow. Okie dokie. No would-be hero could fail to answer its call. For who among us does not yearn for salvation? The fuck is that? What's this? What's this? Norvrant. Norvrant. Mate, it's very pretty around here, to be fair. Yo, it's Lily! <laughs> Look how cool Lily looks! I love that we've both gone for black as well. Very big, very powerful. Beata Beta, I guess, of the firmament. Mmm. 